Hey guys, Nightprowler here. And uh, I remember I said in a video that I had ordered these, and um, we got them in Wednesday, no, we got them in Thursday, uh, Tuesday, and didn't have enough time to get uh, mine charged, but we charged uh, my wife's. These are the New Trent Power Pack Ultras, obviously, as you can see from the box there. This is my wife's. Mine is still in the box. I haven't actually pulled it out yet. I just cut the tabs on just now so I could pull it out and do an unboxing. Uh, we used this one for Wednesday and Thursday and Friday uh, for charging our cell phones. And it did pretty dang well. This is 14,000 milliamp battery. Um, it's pretty cool. You got output one and output two. Output one is a one amp or a 1.1 amp. Output two is a 2.1 amp. And then you got your input, which is right here. So it takes a two amp input. And I'll show you that in the instructions. Um, let me show you the box here. Waterproof, dustproof, shockproof. So 14,000 milliamps. Let me open the inside here. You can do your your tablets. It gives you some of the some of the stuff. You can actually charge two cell phones at once. So that was like what we did. Uh, I had like there was two times that my phone was dead and her phone was dead and we plugged them both in. I just turned my phone off and left. she left hers on. She put hers in the two amp thing and I, I turned, I put mine in the one amp and it uh, charged both cell phones up fine. Um, let me see, I'll kick it on. Hers is fully charged right now. That's your indicator lights. Turn it off. So let me uh, run you through these instructions real quick. They're super simple instructions, nothing over complicated. I mean, it's really basic and it actually tells you the information you need. Only one thing I don't like that uh, that doesn't come in this charger or in this um, in this box and it does come with a micro as you can see right here, if my thing would focus, a micro USB. Come on, you can do it. God, really? Uh, micro USB. There we go. Cord, but nothing to plug in that micro USB to. So, essentially, if when you first get this, you're either going to have to go out and find a 2 amp uh, USB port, a wall charger you can plug that into, or, you know, do it off your computer or laptop. That's one thing that was kind of a pain in the butt. These cost about 70 bucks each. So you can see right here, and I'll tell you the outputs. You can see right there, two amps. So that was uh, one of the things we for, we had to do right off the bat was get a uh, was get a wall charger, so we could charge this. Name says not included. You know, a little wall charger. Let me flip this. charges most of, you know, USB to devices, as long as it's like 5 volts, and it takes either 1 amp or 2 amps. Um, 2 amps is kind of considered a rapid charge for uh, most devices, unless it's like a tablet or something. But, let me see, I already showed you the inside, let me show you the back, or let me show you, okay, that's just that. I said, I actually haven't opened it. I just undid the little tab so I could do this one-handed when I needed to. 3.1 amps total. Micro USB cable. So, you can see all your things. Uh, this thing is pretty dang big. Let me put it in my hand. Yeah, I'll compare it with a... Where's the lid? Oh, I had a lid for my water bottle. Where is it? Well, 
there's a water bottle, but I don't have the lid for my water bottle, so. Oh, wait, yeah, I do. It's right there. Okay, this is a 16 ounce water bottle. I'll stick that right there. Put that right next to it. So, 16 ounce water bottle. It's about how big it is. So it's about, I think I measured, I measured this in the house. It was about, I think, inch and uh, three quarters wide. I, th I believe so. Maybe, well, I don't know. It has the measurements right, right there in millimeters. So, it weighs 12.8 ounces. So, that was, uh, that was one thing I know because I, I did weigh it when I was in the house. So, let me show you a little instruction pack. Let me show you what it comes with. This is the black one, and this is the orange one. See, here's that micro USB cable, which works for my smartphone, my Android. This is the orange one. And there's an instruction manual. See anything else in the box? Nope. Just uh, just their pilot information and thing. This. I guess you can give them feedback. But I got the orange one. I thought the orange one was cool. I figured no point in getting two black ones. See, it's got some information back here. If it would focus. There you go. Now you can see it. Capacity, voltage, amperage, outputs, inputs. There you go. But as far as uh, construction, I mean, we didn't really bang these on anything, but they. You know, I didn't drop them or anything, but, you know, they seem to be, they are waterproof up to, I believe it's, uh, they don't give you the IPX, but they do say it's, uh, water resistant for one hour and three feet of water. So, if you just had, if you had these ports here closed, you just drop, you could literally drop this in, you know, uh, I believe it's three feet, that's what the instructions say, of water for an hour. So, that's pretty impressive. You know, granted, you if you have these open, then you're going to have ingress for water, so. But. And that, and I, I don't trust these little, these little tabs right there. You can see that little tab. I don't think that's going to last forever. But even if that did give out, I think you could still use, you could still seal that. But like I said, I'm not planning on putting this in rain or whatever. I just wanted it a little bit more ruggedized. I, did, I wanted to keep dirt and grime out of it. So, very cool. But that's it. Like I said, we used ours. Uh, we used ours exclusively for two days. And we got probably, let's see, we charged... I know we charged her and my phone at the same time one time, and they were both dead. And then we charged her phone probably three times, and I think I charged my phone again. So we we got a good number of uh, charges out of this, and our phones are very uh, large batteries. We're looking at I think 3,000 milliamps. She has a Droid Razor Max HD, and I have a Droid Razor Max. So. You guys can go look all that up. I'm pretty sure it's around the 3,000 mark um, on battery capacity. So this is 14,000. Uh, it did it did well. Um, I really liked it. Basic operation is plug in your USB to your either one amp or two amp output. Uh, I'd say if you're gonna like if you have this phone that like I have, um, and you're gonna use the phone while you're charging just throw in the two amp you know like if you're gonna watch a movie or something like on netflix like i do sometimes you know throw it in the two amp let it start charging you know here basically well you saw this you know put it in plug it in 
put it in your phone and just hit the button and it'll start charging you can still use your phone it um you know it does fairly well uh we didn't have any problems with it but like i said we've only cycled this one time so we've only killed it one time um but it did great for a, a two-day camping trip and uh that's about it like i said if i if i if i have any more data in the future you know about how it's how it's acting because my wife uses her will use this different than i will she's she uses skype and a lot of stuff on her phone so that's why she wanted one so she had backup uh when she's walking granted this is pretty heavy but you know she has a purse and a ton of other crap in there so between flashlights knives and all that other stuff you know this isn't going to be that big of a deal it adds another tw it's 12.8 ounces so you know yeah but it's a great you know i'd say keep this topped off once a month and uh, you're going to always have backup power not to mention all the usb accessories you can now buy uh, like Goal Zero has uh, lights that you can plug into USB. You know, I imagine you could use those with this. And you'd have a light, you know, a bright light that would last, you know, a long time. So just stuff to uh, think about. And uh, that's about it. I, uh, I'm pretty, we, we had a, we used it a lot. And, uh, well, we killed, we used it once and killed it. Uh, I'm going to do some further testing in the future when I get a, a day out where I can go out to the out to the mountains again and get a full day of sunshine. I'm going to plug it into the Goal Zero uh, Nomad 20 and see if it will charge. It takes 9 hours and 2 amps to charge this. So, you know, it would have to be a really good sunny day at all, you know, perfect conditions to get this fully charged. But, you know... I think I could easily get it halfway charged and, you know, with moderate sun. So, good stuff, good stuff. Uh, I could charge it off of uh, that 2 amp charger. That USB right here. I could charge it off that. Um, but if I was going to do that, I mean, if I had to, like, charge it off that, I could do it. So, that's, uh, that's pretty good stuff. I think I could even charge it off my... Where is... I'm pretty sure... Okay not sure i think this puts out two amps maybe i'm gonna have to look in further instructions because the instructions don't really say it just says it needs two amps so i'm fairly certain that if i had a two amp car adapter like i know my wife has a two amp i don't know what this one is but if i had a two amp car adapter i could probably charge it off that but like i said it's going to take nine hours so you know I don't think I'm going to drive for nine hours. Maybe if you're on a road trip or something. All right. That's it. That's the new Trent Power Pack Ultra. I dig it so far. Um, I'll have more data for my wife as she uses hers. I won't be using, probably won't be using mine as often as she'll use hers. But, you know, I, I told her to just keep it on her and uh, use this, you know, when she's at other places that she can't plug in her cell phone just to give it a good test. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later.